Well, today on Making a Mark, I'll introduce you to a man from Hampton with a troubled past, but he turned things around, and now he's using his second chance to be a positive example for at-risk youth. This is James Braxton's story. I would walk through the neighborhood, um, and I would walk through this tunnel, and you can't literally see anything but pitch black except for a little bit of light on the other side. Like that tunnel, James Braxton remembers the moment his childhood went dark. Our whole world changed, which was my parents getting a divorce. James started acting out in class. He says teachers labeled him a troublemaker. I was, I was cussing teachers out. I was threatening to fight teachers. After he was kicked out of school and his home, James tried to get back on track. But when he was 17, the pressure became too much. Uh, I remember driving to Walmart and buying a bottle of painkillers and, you know, try to take my life. James survived that suicide attempt, but struggled to turn things around. That's when I started selling drugs and, and robbing people. I got arrested in 2005. I lost everything. I lost my apartment, lost my car, lost my job. He was at his rock bottom. That's when James says an angel lifted him up. And she gave me an opportunity to work as a pediatric dental assistant. Doing that showed me that I can do anything that I wanted to do. But in the midst of his newfound success, something was missing. So James joined Rise for Youth, a statewide juvenile justice reform initiative to help kids like young James. There was still, you know, young men from my community and I didn't have an example of what it was like to be exposed to an opportunity and run with it and change. Today, he's committed to showing the next generation there is light at the end of the tunnel. Well, James is also now working on an interactive co-parenting guide that's scheduled to be released this summer. And if you'd like more information about Rise for Youth, check out this story on our website later this morning, 13newsnow.com.